Another form of treatment for Kalman syndrome and HH is injectable testosterone. Now there are monthly injections available which are usually in normally 100 or 200 milligram doses and you take these every month and hopefully the testosterone level should be adequate for the whole month and then go and until you get your next injection. But there's now available a three monthly injection which obviously which as I said you take every 10 weeks or 12 weeks 10 to 12 weeks. Its name is Nibido. Show you a box. Get it straight. Nibido. It's actually a thousand milligram dose which is a very high dose of testosterone. It's actually and it comes in four mil four mil vial which is a nice large volume to inject but it's actually a very slow acting and slow released form of testosterone. It's actually a different form of testosterone than the ones you inject every month. Now this is supposed to give you a, a much more steady dose over the whole three month period. So it's actually, once you get injected deep into the muscle, it then gets released very slowly and over the three month period, it gives you a nice steady dose. One of the arguments against monthly injections is you do not get a steady dose for the whole month. You may only get an adequate dose for two weeks out of the month and then it tails off a bit too quickly at the end of the injection cycle. With Nibido, both what the drug manufacturers say and from what experts I've talked to and people I've spoken to who take it, including myself, is Nibido seems to give you a much more steady dose of testosterone for the whole period and you do not get the highs and lows you sometimes see with monthly injections. It, unfortunately, it's not available everywhere yet. It's not available in America at the moment. The FDA is withholding its license. Uh, that apparently is under appeal and hopefully it might be available in America within the next six months to a year. But at the moment it's available in UK, Europe and parts of Asia. It's actually quite a large volume to inject and it's actually quite a viscous oily solution so it can take a little while to inject in and you can make sure that it's at room temperature before you inject it in. And sometimes some people get a little bit discomfort when it's injected but this soon wears off and it does give you the convenience of having three months of not having to worry about injections at all and you get nice steady doses. When you first start taking it your first two injections are six weeks apart to give you what you call a loading dose to get your testosterone levels nice and high. This builds up a reservoir of testosterone deep within, deep within the muscle and then that gets topped up every 12 weeks with a new injection and this slow release of testosterone gives you a nice good dose or for the whole three month cycle. And for some people it's far more convenient than using a gel or a patch every day. In theory gel should give you a nice steady dose but unfortunately you have to add gel or put a new patch on every day. With Nibido it's one injection every 10 to 12 weeks and then you can forget about it. Some people may need it every 12 weeks, some people need it every 12 weeks, 10 weeks or 12 weeks. It does depend on individual people. This is why it's important whatever treatment you're on, that you actually get your testosterone levels checked either at the start of the treatment cycle and at the midpoint of the cycle and hope preferably at the end of the treatment cycle as well just to check the testosterone levels are within the normal range all the way through the treatment cycle. There's no point being on the treatment where the levels are only within normal range half the time over the whole treatment period. Apparently with Nibido it does give you adequate levels all the way through or at least puts in normal range all the way through the treatment cycle.